well, I'm currently working. Um, yes, I am sitting in my car and I am crocheting, but it looks like I forgot to record a intro and an outro, so here we go. Welcome back to Smuggler's Adventures. Um, tonight slash today, because it is the next day, um, I pretty much went to Disney for a late night run. Got on one ride. I was going to watch Fantasmic. Didn't end up doing it, but I did see a fireworks show. So come along with me on this adventure. Decided to take a little summer, summer evening stroll to Disneyland. Actually see the security is actually not that bad. I'm going to be the only one walking the only one walking through it. Oh my god, I cannot speak right now. Look at that. Completely empty. And it is currently 914. So usually I start off in Disneyland, but I think tonight we're going to be starting off in California Adventure. I mean, it does close at 10, so I do have a few minutes. I'll probably walk in, check out a couple things out in 5 and 9, and head to Disney because I want to see the fireworks and Fantasmic tonight. Plus, I want to check out the Adventureland Treehouse. So I did walk into 5 and, five and dime. I didn't see nothing new. It's pretty much the stuff that's been there for quite some time. So, I mean, I think I'm going to make my way to Disneyland now because, like I said, the fireworks start at 9.30 and then the last one in Fantasmic is going to be at 10.30, so those are my goals tonight. You know, I really didn't cover that much for Pixar Fest this year because about time it started, I just moved back down from North, Amer North America? North California, and I was still financially unstable, so I think next time it does come around, I'll probably be a little more, I will be financially stable and I will be able to do more stuff on Pixar Fest and maybe foods, events, but this year it was good to just come back and get an annual pass and actually come back to Disney now after being absent for almost about a year. But yes, our next stop is Disneyland. Monorail. Always a good photo of her. The Pixar fireworks are just starting. I have not seen them in a long time. I believe they did a small update on them, but I am so excited. My favorite part about the fireworks here are the projections because it's not only on the castle, but it's only it's also on Main Street. If you didn't have those two options, you can also go to Rivers of America to watch them there because they do the water screens. This is one of my favorite, or my new favorite Pixar movie. Another good fireworks show. Ah. One red. You know what? I just love Pixar movies, but look at all the buildings are actually colored to the Pixar ball. Got the blue, the yellow, the red. How oh, cool. I like that one. You know what? This has always been my favorite part, like I said, is the projections on Main Street. They do such a good job with them. Let's take a quick look at all of the rides right now. Um, Credit Country is closed, so that's why Winnie Pooh is closed. Temporary closed is Peter Pan, Snow White, um, Gadget Go Coaster. So pretty much all of Fantasyland, or half of Fantasyland and Toontown are closed because that's technically a pyro dropout. 
area so that's why they closed down due to safety but um the wait times don't look too bad or astro orbiters i think i'll probably make my way to maybe toontown if not get probably toontown to go get on a uh, runway railway but first i'll make a stop in adventureland because i want to check out adventureland treehouse as you can see this is after fireworks so a lot of guests are leaving and it means trams are gonna be packed so hopefully the second showing of Fantasmic is not going to be that be that busy. But yeah, it's pretty packed on a Sunday night. So I came over to the castle real quick, but look at the castle's the color of the Pixar ball. How cool is that? Now they are actually just waiting for to get the all clear from the fire marshal, so guests can actually go through the castle. But that's what everyone's waiting for. Now I remember one time I actually had a front row view like literally i was like right here where this guest was by the other side of the ropes and i was doing gso which is like guest show operations and that's literally where you kind of direct the guests for traffic and i was literally standing right there i had front row of all the fireworks it was the best show ever and it was like 60th fireworks as you guys can see they're actually already getting ready for the second show and phantasmic they're already filling up the scenic area um i don't think i was going to stay well I was going to stay around, but I think I'm actually going to probably be heading home. But first, we must get on Pirates and then Adventureland Treehouse and then probably make my way out. But Pirates, here we come. She is only a five minute wait and I have not been on her in forever. Let's go get on Pirates. What can I say? She's pretty much a walk on. Usually the lines like all up here doing all the switchbacks back and forth and like outside, but literally it's a walk on i'm so excited i have not like i said i haven't been on this ride in forever so to be in ac for a little bit and to be on the classic ride i love it i just love it i love disney it's always been it was one of my dream jobs but now it's time for me it, like i said you might hear me say that it's time for me to move on or because i was here for eight years oh Back on the very back. I have not gone on the very back. And that is the Blue Bayou. It's been a while since I ate there. Too. You know, it's been a while since I've done a lot of things. I mean, last time I ate there was probably almost about seven years ago, and that's with my mom. And we both had the gumbo, which was delicious. But I'm planning on revisiting it and this time taking my brother and his girlfriend so we can all try something different. Plus, you get a good view, which is Pirates Caribbean. So you could throw someone a bread roll, just saying, but don't really do it. But maybe, but like don't. this ride around down here but now I love it you know even after a long day of working I feel like this but every time I come to this place now I get excited like it gives me a adrenaline rush I'm just happy to be here once again I mean I'm happy that I'm not working here no more but I'm happy that I'm, that I'm able to come as a guest and that I'm a annual pass holder now know that word magic key is not going to stick with me because i'm so used to being an annual pass holder that's what i call it now it's an annual pass so when they brought up the term magic key it was like wait what i was kind of confused but yep look at our skeleton friends they look a little uh bone dry but it looks like they're trying to stay hydrated <laughs> just kidding there's another toy story truck if you see it you see it how exciting. I'm using the word exciting a lot. You know, it's just, being here is just different now. It's a lot different, but yeah, there's another Toy Story truck. There's Red. Oh, to Baby Jones. Don't they want? Oh, now it's found out what the dog's barking at. Oh, they're working again. 
remember for a while they weren't working. They were just stationary, but now they're actually working again. Well, I was going to go on the Adventureland Treehouse, but it looks like it's actually closed for the night. I think I'm just going to head home and call it a night. It's been a long day. I've been, I got off work and I literally came straight here. Um, I worked probably about 12 hours at my other job and now I came here. So, you know, it, it's just good knowing that I can come here anytime that I want and I have the freedom to do it and just walk around. But I think that's it for today's adventure. I just want to make a quick little run to Disney, get on a ride, see the fireworks show and that was pretty much it. I know you probably didn't see my face as much, but sometimes I just like talking to you guys like this. I don't always have to put my face out there and like, hey, look at it. It's just, sometimes it's just fun talking to people and letting them know some of my knowledge and some things that I like to do here are some, some recommendations. Walking down Main Street to Exit Park, you know, even though I was only here for about an hour, I still had a good time. But I think before we go, we are going to check out Emporium because I think they did release some new merchandise of Star Wars. I believe it's a new backpack, our new lounge fly. So if you guys like to collect lounge flies, I believe there's a baby Yoda one. All right, folks, there it is. There's a new baby Yoda backpack. It's kind of cute. I mean, I used to collect them, but I don't collect them no more. Oh, looks like they have a new group one too. And Baymax and a Darth Vader. So there's quite a few new backpacks, but yes, that's gonna be the new one right here. Mm -hmm.